So this is a continuation part of yesterday's session. Yesterday we successfully created a EKS cluster and node configuration, and it taking us a long time for creating the node under the EKS cluster. So now we are verifying whether the node is created under cluster or not from the EKS services on Amazon EC2, Amazon Web Services. So first you can go to Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Services. Perfect. Now in the left side, in the left side, there is a option called clusters. Clusters. Click on that. So right now one cluster is created. The cluster is uh, cluster hyphen EKS. It is act two. And uh, it's a one dot twenty seven version was created. The provided by EKS services. OK. Now. Please select the cluster EKS. That means open it. So inside that the worry of uh, cluster endpoint, the connectivity. And uh, uh, what are the IAM rule and open ID connect? All the informations are showing. After that, any resources are configured under this. You can check that under the resources. Check resources. And now you can see this. There's a pods are created. So 20 minutes ago, 21 minutes ago, like that. So here there is a some kind of uh, some kind of uh, uh, filters are there. Can you please click on all namespaces filter? Can you click on the drop down list? See guys, like we have a cube node releases, cube public, cube system, like that we have a different different uh, 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 ports are available. So can you please click on the uh, cube node release? So no and select the other option. Public. No next. Cube system. So now these all are related to cube system nodes. OK. Cube system parts. Now the below a cluster option is there. Can you please expand the cluster in the left side? Cluster. So select the nodes. So only one node is there, but it is not showing. Uh, maybe you can click the node name. Click on the node name. There is an arrow mark is uh, towards the upside. Uh, click on that. Perfect. Right. So now node one is created. The cluster information is a T3 medium. So this information was created in the EC2 services. OK. But it's showing as a 22 minutes ago. So today morning only you created Gopi? No, no, I, I, today morning I activated. Yesterday you I was activated. Yesterday. OK, fine. right. So that's why it's showing 22 minutes ago. So next, uh, uh, open a new tab. Uh, already opened Amazon EC2. You can select the EC2 services. Click on instances. So this instance you created or this instance is created from. Uh, what you called uh, uh, from the EKS configuration. EKS configuration, I didn't create anything. You didn't create anything for that. Oh, OK, fine. good. So any key pairs are assigned for this instance. Can you please check uh, Gopi? For this instance, select the instance. And you can check the which key pair was assigned to this machine. Keep it assigned. Huh? Nothing is assigned to this. Nothing, Nothing is assigned. Scroll up. Scroll up. Go, go on top. OK, go to action. Go to action. Security. OK, 
image settings go to image settings the second option from the top no 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 not like that so finally instance uh, settings on the instance settings yeah so a little bit scroll down few options are grayed out that means machine is powering on so missions are grayed out okay so then go to the eks cluster so this instance is created from this instance is created from a uh, launch configuration template okay so if you click that uh, the node name please click on that the detailed information will be showing here you can check this status kernel version so it's a 5.10 amazon linux mission was created mm -hmm. ALT. okay and uh, you can see the os image and uh, instance type these all mm -hmm. options are available kubelet version also 1.27 so right now Kubernetes versions are deployed 1.27. So that's why it is showing is a 1.27.3 EKS. Little bit scroll down. Now capacity allocation. What is the number of uh, cores are assigned? What is the memory it is assigned? Utilization of this server. So uh, when you are working on the real time environment. In this particular server, so just now we have seen, right? That's Amazon EC2 instances. In that instance, Docker will be running. On the top of Docker, containers will run. The containers will be deploying through EKS services. That's the main system we are going to prepare. You understand? The concept is, right now the instance is created, right? The instance is mainly created through Okay, EKS uh, node configuration. We'll call this. So the particular node is a main configuration unit to host the multiple applications on the containers. So containers means a Docker service will be running on the base platform. So normally hypervisor we are using to build the virtual machines, right? So now in this concept, a Docker system we will be using, Docker container service will be using to create the containers. In the container, we are running an applications. Whatever the operating system is there, the kernel will be used by the Docker container services to run the application. Have you understand the concept is what I'm explaining? Let me share my screen. Don't switch the screen, uh, uh, Gopi. Let me explain in the diagrammatical way. Uh, I think this is a very toughest diagram you need to understand. <laughs> okay, fine. If you understand this concept, mostly you'll be ready. OK, to set up this environment. I'm going to create a new structure. Suppose this is entire AWS. Huh? This is entire AWS. This is AWS infrastructure. Mm -hmm. 
we have a EKS service. We have a elastic Kubernetes services. Here we created a cluster. OK. EKS cluster. Hmm? In this cluster, we're creating a node. Node. What happened? This is a node. So this node, uh, where it we created. So actually it is created under this cluster only, but this node has some properties, some configuration that is created under Amazon EC2. Okay, this is Amazon EC2. In this Amazon EC2, we have a launch configuration template will be there. Okay. This is EC2 instance launch configuration is okay. Launch configuration template. With this help of this services, instance will get created. This is EC2. AL2 machine was created. So in this mission, in this mission, basically, what are the things are there? This is a main configuration. So Docker service will be installing here. OK, once Docker service in, will be installing, we can create a containers. We can create a containers. OK. This is. Container. Docker container like that. We can create multiple containers. That means each container equal to one virtual machine. You can consider like that. On the top, we can deploy our applications. We can deploy our application. So 
So like this, the setting will be there. Now, this type of multiple Docker services I can manage in with the help of nodes. And these nodes are managing under Elastic Kubernetes cluster. This Elastic Kubernetes cluster is managing by EKS service. Now you understand? Yeah, yes, that's Rajesh. Huh? Now it's clear. Huh? Okay, fine. Padma, are you clear? Yes, sir. Right. So the next concept is the configuration, everything we are going to do now. Okay, next concept is we are going to configure this applications and the settings and all that we will do it with the Gopi system hmm. to managing this all. OK, and we are interacting with so some commands. We need to run it. That's a AWS CLA commands to operate your EK system. OK, so only up to one extent level we can do with the command line interface and remaining we can go with the GUI. So GUI and command line both are needed to managing the Elastic Kubernetes cluster. OK. So can you please share your screen? Copy that. Hello. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now, mm. now these are the missions will be managing from this console. So what is the utilization on that? Hello. One minute go. One minute go. Okay. Okay. So the whatever the machine was created on Amazon Linux 2 on EC2 services, the particular server, the capacity is managing here. OK, so now you can go to Amazon EC2 console, Amazon EC2 console. And you can check that server configuration. So it is a T3 micro, sorry, T3 medium, I think so. OK, T2 medium or something. So the server performance, everything is monitored here. OK, T3 medium. So the T3 medium machine, the completely monitor here from this AWS EK services. So go to EK services. Hmm. This is a two cores and 4 GB RAM. And uh, how many ports are running? Four ports are running now. So if your utilization is 100%, OK, so now the server will become very slow. So we keep on monitor and uh, based on that you need to increase the instance capacity to the next level. Number of applications a number of containers are running on the machine so we can manage it. So normally even the same concept is available in Amazon instances also. Why you are doing this? 
but normally without container only we can run very very uh, very uh, small amount of applications but with the containers a total operating system only using the kernel of the operating system they can run more containers and more applications that's the main reason we are using this technology scroll down and availability and usage everything we can check this this is a how many services are running the pod the uh, cube system services the system services with all the ip address everything is available you can see the lost console ip address 172.31 the ip address everything will be created there and now the conditions you can check that so like a uh, memory pressure disk pressure okay uh, pad process identifier pressure ready so this all information you can monitor here. So that's it. Go on top. And go to the. One step back. EKS cluster. Go to compute section. In the compute section, this is the IP which is provided and the server is currently running. So 40 minutes ago the machine was started. So guys, it will be chargeable. A T3 medium uh, in some conditions, if the T2 micro is not available, T3 medium is a free, but sometimes it will be chargeable. So be be careful when you are uh, running these instances. Scroll down. Now the cluster was readily available. Nodes are available and versions are available. Everything is active. So scroll up. And go to the networking. We use the networking as a default only, but in real time environment, I told you know already VPC internal and external configuration. This configuration will be creating on the private network. Private subnets. OK. And authentication. So right now authentication. Uh, we need to providing uh, through AWS CLI to get connectivity. You have to check that. So for this, I'll give you one link uh, so you can follow that instructions. And uh, we can check that which account we have a uh, permissions to configure it. Then please check the chat. The website I have provided Amazon official website. You can go and we can check that. There is no chart here, no? It is there. You can see, I, I just know ping that uh, the same meeting chat link. It is not coming. If you log on with the Teams app, it will show you. If you log on with a web, true web, then it, will, it won't show you a chart. Rajesh, can you ping me in my WhatsApp now? It's not coming to me. Gopi, my name is screen share chain and chapter. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Then no chat is coming. Akara, more an option, Gana, more than the key chain. Okay. Right. So minimize chain, teams minimize chain. Start locally teams and type chain. Me a company account to login in a no private. Okay, the group add the monthly. I tell me to Sariga sign up Kaledu. Okay, so I'll, I'll send on the WhatsApp. So open your uh, command prompt and you can check. AWS CLA version. No, no, command prompt open chain. Command prompt open Jesse Chal. AWS CL install chase and Aramir. Chase and go to go to uh, okay. So we can here you can type appwiz.cpl. Appwiz.cpl. Enter. And you can sort with the publisher. Sort with the publisher. Amazon command line interface. OK, AWS CLA you already installed. Perfect. 2.13. Good. Now. We need to identify. Who is a, a admin access? The ID was provided previously. To your uh, system. Last time I think so is a different account created and uh, Credentials was added here, I think so. Am I right? Yes, yes. Mm. So can you please open the command prompt? Already open. Already open the command prompt. You can check that same way. The command is AWS hyphen STS hyphen. AWS hyphen. Sorry, AWS space. Sorry, AWS space. STS. Space. Get hyphen caller uh, hyphen identity. So this command will verify you have a which ID already configured with your system in AWS LA to providing access that will information will be displayed. Enter. The user ID and account ID and the username is Terraform. Perfect. But one thing, uh, which user ID was logged in? Okay, which user ID was logged in? And you created EKS only that particular user ID. You can able to manage it. Otherwise. If other than any user, if you are running the commands, it won't accept. I think so. But what we can do, uh, we will provide the full administrator access. Okay, full mm -hmm. administrator access for Terraform. So we can run that. In case if it is not working, then we can delete this particular user ID permissions on this AWS CLI. Then we can recreate the secret key and secret access ID for uh, root user ID and we can configure AWS CLA permission then we can run. So in the second step. 
Okay, that will take a more time. Okay, let's we can continue for this. Go to IM services. Go to IM services. And go to users. Terraform is there. You can please select that. Select permissions. Okay, I think administrator access is there. Okay. All functions we can perform. Perfect. Administrator access you already provided directly. That's well and good. Then you can go back. Go back to the terminal. So next command is AWS space hyphen hyphen version. Enter. So now AWS CLA version is a 2.13. Just now we have checked that. Uh, even Python also is available 3.11. So it's a Windows 10 operating system and above our platform is available. So that's more than enough for us. Now we need to configure the region setup in this particular environment so that in that area we are able to configure the uh, in public uh, level we have a lot of uh, Docker container services are available that is available on the public area hub.docker.com. So can you please open a new tab on the browser so you can search uh, hub.docker.com. It's a public domain. Anybody can access it. So, but only, but only whichever the Docker's images are available in the public, only we can access. If anything in private, we don't want to access it. Are you clear? Open the first link. Shall I create the account? Okay. No, dot not required. You can directly click on left side a Docker symbol. So now in the search, in the search, okay, you can search any kind of application like a node app, type node app. Enter. Space you put it. Don't give any name space like that enter see like that many people are created application so can you please uh, search my name uh the name is like uh g mahesh naidu in the above search you can search my name g mahesh naidu like that No, you can give cloud technet. No, you can remove that R Goneni. You can type R G O N E N I. R G O O L E that kind R G O N E N I. Yeah, okay. See, even my name also. So can click my name R G O N E N I below. So I have account and some images I already built it. Okay. Long ago I created. My name click change that kind. Click on my name R G O N E N I. Below, below, below hyperlink is there. You can click on that. Yeah, so in my ID, so few images are uh, uploaded. So everybody can create your name and you can build your Docker system and you can create a Docker image and the Docker image you can store in the hub.docker.com. So it's similar like uh, GitHub, right? Yeah, so in GitHub, what we are saving? Source code we are saving. In hub.docker.com, what we are saving? Image. Images. What images? Docker images we are saving it. Okay. okay. So this image we can take and we can deploy on the AWS EC2 instances through 
elastic Kubernetes cluster that we can do that. So for all these things, you need an AWS CLI configuration is required in which environment you are going to set up and all. Are you clear? So whichever the link I given to you, can you please go to that website? Docs.amazon, the link I provided, right? Sometime back. So you can select this. Scroll down. See? Just now given the command AWS STS get caller identity. So if you want to get what is the message you'll be showing? It's a prerequisites, an existing Amazon EC2 cluster to deploy one. See, getting started with AWS CKs. Can you please open with a new tab? That particular hyperlink. The below, the message, right click open a new tab. So it will give you complete information about. So what is a EKS and uh, what is a kubelet? What is a EKS controller? All these things information they'll be provided here. Go back to the previous tab. Scroll down and the versions are provided. Already we are in 1.27 version. Now the next option is create a Kubernetes configuration file automatically. Scroll down. So if you need this, we need a AWS CLA is required. AWS CLA is already configured. And now we need to create the cube configuration file with AWS CLI. There is a format they provided. The format they provided. Can you please copy the format? Just copy the format. Go to the Notepad plus plus. Go to the Notepad plus plus or Notepad, whatever it is. And you can paste this link and you can modify according to your names and uh, regions and locations. New tab yeah. open this code. New tab open this code. Paste it. So here yeah, there is a command like AWS EKS update hyphen cube config. Yeah. So the region region is a region code is showing right region space region code you can select the region code from the aws page so like uh, in which location you are in hyderabad right so perfect ap hyphen south 2 then the name of your cluster what is the cluster name go to the EKS. So cluster name you can take it. Cluster EKS. Perfect. And the last my cluster you can remove. And in that place you can paste it there. Copy the entire line. And you can paste it in the command line and hit enter. Added new context. See this. Right. So now the configuration was saved in your local system. C users 91770. Your office laptop. personal laptop. 91770. My wife. Okay, I'll nine one double seven under the office idea. The guard together. Okay, right. <laughs> I really saw. <shocked. laughs> so, I'll check you good. So, security warnings just today. Fine, no problem. So, this is a personal computer only, guys. Yeah, personal. Ah, everybody, please practice on the personal computer because of if you're doing this configuration to your local system, too, that means uh, we are trying to copy something that's not good actually. Okay, fine. So, next. Uh, the next step is go to the browser. And already we have did this. The next step. Next step is. OK, so kubectl gets SVC we need to do. So I'll tell you so what we need to do. So what is the next step? We need to run this. 
whether the nodes are showing or not, we need to check that. Whether the nodes are showing or not, we need to check that. So the command is kubectl get a nodes, the command, not SVC, nodes. kubectl get nodes, enter. Kubectl command is not recognizing and I think so kubectl we need to install. OK, so go back to the article. Uh, scroll up. Mm. So first level. No, 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 we already given that uh, the region configuration, right? The next region configuration. What is the information we are providing? For all available option, run the EKS update config help the command C update cube config in AWS CLI. So can run the command update cube config. Hmm? Enter. Mm -hmm. Go back to the page. Scroll up, little bit scroll up. Go to Google. How to install kubectl in Amazon CLI? How to install kubectl? In Amazon Web Services CLI. OK, open the, open the first one, first page. Yeah. Hmm, scroll down, little bit scroll down. Copy that one. kubectl version short client, the first, first link. Paste there. Enter. No. Next. Next command you can copy. No. Next. And select the Linux on Windows. Windows, right? Windows. You can copy the first line. Enter. Is downloading now. Next. Scroll down. Scroll down. And go to the C option. C. What is the option is saying? Verify the download binary file SHA checksum. Your, your binary. Okay, copy that. I think to same command, no changes at all. <coughs> no changes. Okay, I think so. It is installed successfully. So immediately was uh, taking that to the next screen. Go to the next. And check SHA checksum download binary. You can run the command. Not recognizing. Go back. Scroll down. I uh, can check the client version, kubectl version, short client. If it is installed successfully, we can able to check this. Right? 
version is available, right? Yeah. Okay. 1.27 EKS. Okay, fine. Then next we can run the command kubectl get nodes. Enter. You must log into the server. The server has asked for the client. One minute. So the client providing the credentials could not current server API server asked for the client provided credentials. OK, that's what I told you. So the problem with the. The whatever the ID we created in the last uh, time Terraform. So one of the reason it is not working. So. This is not working now. So we can try for creating the pods, OK? We are creating the trying to for the pro, uh, pods. Uh, let's try this. Mm. You can run the command uh, kubectl get SVC. You can run the command kubectl get SVC. Kubectl get SVC. Uh, same error. So I think so we need to configure it. So like a ID we need to create for your uh, root ID. Already ID is already there. So the security ID and security credentials we need to create. AWS credentials. Then we need to again come here AWS CLI and we need to remove this Terraform and we need to reconfigure it. So on the Terraform class, I explained the concept, right? You remember Mahesh Gopi? Yeah. So the same step you need to create it. Will you create? No, no idea. Can you tell me? We can create. Uh -huh. OK. Mahesh, can you help me? Yeah. So what is the command that they given to you? Any idea? So let me check the article and I'll give you. I'm also not remembering the command. AWS security. Credentials configure. Issue in AWS CLI. AWS config yes, Nara. Yes, Andy. Thank you. AWS global config. Command. The command is AWS global config. Can you please hit enter that? AWS global config. Config. Hit enter. Scroll up. OK, 
ఒకసారి కమెంట్ చెక్ చేయండి లాస్ట్ టైం క్లాస్ లో చెప్పింది ఏమన్నా ఉందా మీ దగ్గర చెక్ మై నోట్స్ గూగుల్ చేయండి పర్లేదు వెయిట్ చేద్దాం గూగుల్ చేయండి నేను నోట్స్ నోట్ చేసుకోలేదు సార్ నా దగ్గర స్టెప్స్ ఉన్నాయి కానీ ఆ కమాండ్ రావట్లేదు ఇవ్వండి AWS space configure ఇక్కడ మీ యాక్సెస్ ఐడి సీక్రెట్ ఐడి ఇవ్వాలి అండ్ AWS రీజన్ కూడా ఇవ్వాలి ఇది నా ఏ లేదా ఆ యా ఆల్్రెడీ కాన్ఫిగర్ చేశారు కదా మంది ఏం చేశారు చేశాం మనం సీక్రెట్ ఐడి సీక్రెట్ యాక్సెస్ తీస్తారు నెక్స్ట్ రీజన్ ఇస్తారు రీజన్ ఓకే కదా అవసరం లేదు డిఫాల్ట్ ఎస్ ఐకన్ టైప్ సేమ్ అన్న కొడితే సేమ్ ఓకే థాంక్యూ సర్ హ్మ్ ఆల్్రెడీ కాన్ఫిగర్ అయి ఉంది కదా ఇట్స్ ఆల్్రెడీ కాన్ఫిగర్ హా యా సో వి నీడ్ టు ట్రై టు రిమూవ్ దిస్ కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ కెన్ యు చెక్ ద గూగుల్ హౌ టు రిమూవ్ ద AWS కాన్ఫిగర్ హౌ టు రిమూవ్ AWS కాన్ఫిగర్ హ్మ్ కాన్ఫిగర్ గ్రాండ్చిల్స్ normally a, a single user is working right mm. the command is showing here right you can just check that dabo just remove no 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 okay so there is a path was created right go to the command prime you want to override you can override with the new uh, user new user override. means it is it will it, we need to uh, it will ask right it is not asking when you running this uh, aws configuration okay 
ఇక్కడ మనము ఇక్కడ ఆల్రెడీ ఇచ్చిన క్రెడిషన్స్ ఇచ్చారు కదండి ఇప్పుడు కొత్తవి యూజర్ది క్రెడిషన్స్ ఇవ్వడానికి ఇక్కడ ఆప్షన్స్ అడగట్లేదు కదండి ఇప్పుడు ఏడబ్ల్యూఎస్ కాన్ఫిగర్ అని ఇవ్వగానే అది ఓల్డ్ చూపిస్తున్నది సో మీరు కొత్త యూజర్ కొత్త యాక్సెస్ ఐడి సీక్రెట్ కి ప్రొవైడ్ చేయాలంటే ఆ ప్లేస్ లో కొత్త కొత్త వాల్యూ ఇస్తే అది ఓవర్ అయ్యి పోతుంది కదా ఇక్కడ మీరు కొత్త ఐడి ఇవ్వండి అవును మీరు ఎందుకు ఎంటర్ ఇచ్చారు అందుకు ఎందుకు ముందు ఎందుకు ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ వచ్చింది అది అది రీకాన్ఫిగర్ అనేది కమెంట్ రీకమెంట్ అది రీకాన్ఫిగర్ చేసిన తర్వాత మళ్ళ వచ్చింది కదా ఇన్వాలిడ్ చాయిస్ వచ్చింది అది ఆ రీకాన్ఫిగర్ చేసి వచ్చింది సో ఇక్కడ మీకు కావాలంటే కొత్త ఐడి ఇస్తే అది ఓవర్ అయ్యి పోతుంది ఇంత ముందుగా మీరు కాన్ఫిగ్ మీరు AWS కాన్ఫిగర్ అని ఇచ్చినప్పుడు మొత్తం డీటెయిల్స్ వచ్చింది కదా గోపి అవును వచ్చింది అప్పుడు ఇది ఇచ్చామండి అప్పుడు ఇప్పుడు మనం రీకాన్ఫిగర్ అని ఇవ్వడం వల్ల రిమూవ్ అయింది అంతేనా ఆ యాక్చువల్లీ అది ఇచ్చినప్పుడు నేను ఇక్కడ ఇది ఇచ్చాను క్రెడెన్షియల్స్ లాగిన్ ఐడి ఇచ్చాను ఆ ఐడి ఇచ్చారు దాని పాతవి కాకుండా కొత్త నేను చూడలేదు నేను స్క్రీన్ యాక్చువల్ గా సరే ఇవ్వకూడదు అది ఇస్తేనే కదా ప్రాబ్లం వచ్చింది ఫస్ట్ లో కూడా ఓకే అది మీరు టెరాఫామ్ సంబంధించిన క్రెడెన్షియల్స్ అవి రూట్ యూజర్ క్రెడెన్షియల్స్ కాదు సో గో బ్యాక్ టు ద ఐఎం సర్వీస్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ నాట్ ఐఎం సర్వీసెస్ గో టు ద ఏడబ్ల్యూఎస్ రూట్ కన్సోల్ దిస్ ఇస్ సంథింగ్ డిఫరెంట్ కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ సో రైట్ సైడ్ యూ హావ్ అ గోపి కృష్ణ అకౌంట్ ఇస్ దర్ యూ కెన్ సెలెక్ట్ దట్ వన్ గో టు సెక్యూరిటీ క్రెడెన్షియల్స్ నార్మలీ వీఆర్ నాట్ క్రియేటింగ్ Uh, security credentials for root account at any cost because in real time environment security credentials only for just creating an account after that the security credentials we are not creating even this username password will not share it to anyone okay so scroll down but in our case uh, we created a amazon cluster with a root account only access keys we need to create create access keys click on create access keys copy create yeah i i you have to select that accept and copy the username password and copy it to the notepad plus root user you can give the heading root user access credentials okay now can access code also you can type that okay now can go and you can configure in aws config section and region you can select episode 2 only right hit and default region enter so now the credentials are over now can run the command which command yeah this one get ss svc hmm kubernetes get svc tube ctl get svc enter perfect yeah and uh, cube ctl get uh, notes perfect so our configuration is okay and we have learned the troubleshooting how to clean your existing credentials and configure the new credentials and uh, how to solve the problem that we have learned today that's a lesson learning for the day so perfect uh, the next uh, thing is 
the next important thing is. So we need to take any GitHub account, any GitHub account, and you need to configure few configuration settings. OK. From that account, you need to configure your AWS uh, node configurations like that example, uh, any kind of uh, uh, ready-madely available pods uh, in real-time environment like uh, hub.docker.com, you can utilize that one. So go to hub.docker.com. Hub.docker.com. Uh, already got a Docker symbol like fish symbol in Sudandi. Next, yeah. Go back to the home, scroll up, go back to the home. And you can search. You can search like. Uh, the name called. Node apps. Node apps. Problem with node app. You can give node apps, right? So uh, Docker. So click on open that first one. Arjun Silish. OK. Good. Open github.com. Open github.com. Parallelly. GitHub.com. That's it. In the search, you can find out like uh, Kubernetes, Kubernetes. Power slash spots. Kubernetes, K-U-B-E-R. N E T E S N E T E S Pods Enter Okay. Again in the pods, okay. Again in the pods, pods.aml, you can give that again in the pods, the followed by backslash uh, pods.yml, you can type like that. Any ML configuration, yml, just yml, enter. No. <laughs> then I'm pinging you one link here in the public repository. I got it. You can take this. Okay. You can open that. What you can do, you can just fork it. You can just fork it. On the right side, there is an option called fork. Make right side lo fork on a caption on the right side and the left side lo just now. Right side fork an option should and fine. Fine. Just click on the fork. You can log in. Go to below, below pods, 
bots option is there bots ikkada fork option em raavatle da so one step back one step back uh select the pods select the pods so do one thing open the readme file open the readme file scroll up okay one step back pods.yml can open that mera website ni close chesayandi this one then close it said yeah you can close it i'll give you the directly file you can take it so can you please check the whatsapp guys don't worry i will give you on the chat section this file you can configure it whatsapp it in gives you is that is that is that one minute the system is very slow can you check that so can you please download this file and uh, mostly you are practicing some some location right it is not downloading download avutundandi akada pakkane download option nu chudandi dan meda click cheyandi download avutundi kodle kodam leda so nen code ni copy chesestanu code nana try cheyandi can you please open your uh, notepad plus plus hmm. whatever the command i pasted there you just to copy and paste it there in a new tab id code is script idi din letta cheyachukovaddu din letta cheyagoddu oka new tab lo cheskovala okay new tab open cheskonu akade adika atla kadandi notepad plus plus ne new tab open cheskomani cheptunna okay yeah you can paste it there so go to file save as uh in the desktop you can create a new folder in the desktop in the desktop current no 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 me unna chot nunchi cheyandi sir anta vellalsa avasaram ledhu uh k8s and better me k8s and better k number 8 s and pattern chalu okay go to file save as k8s the file name should be pods pods.yml and save it now this is actually configuration file okay it's a aml file with that aml file it will directly pull the image from the it will directly pull the image from the where from hub.docker.com to your aws environment understood first of all this particular configuration file we had to keep it in any source code location either you can use in s3 bitbucket github anywhere you can use it 
open kids folder and right click open git bash here go to more option last option last option git bash here type git in it git space in it achpinaru mer gopi command sir ni achpinatu ma git in it done now git status okay uh, next is git add space no 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 wait wait git add space dot enter now git space commit space hyphen m space m m m for message double quotes upload parts yaml file dot yaml space ivandi kodu message chudani baa untundi kada ante meeru space annitni kalipi rasestunnaru upload parts upload parts yaml file you can do like that parts dot yaml parts dot yml space file and close that double quotes enter then git push i think so git origin url is not there go to your git account in the git sm kelthar github kadandi sorry sir and create a new repository in a public in a public in the left side there is a new repository is there right new give that name uh hates hates a a t s uh, public scroll down scroll down create it scroll down already the given the three commands a git remote add origin git branch m git push these three commands one by one you can push it go to git bash ha ah, mottam line line teeskondi no it's not properly copied akada option teeskondi last lo uh, copy symbol unda kada yeah right click just right click paste enter uh, i think that's a small symbol was enabled the last git origin main you can check that the command properly on that uh, github portal uh, the last command was wrongly entered there's some tilde symbol was entered after that one లాస్ట్ కమాండ్ మాత్రం తీసుకోండి సరిపోతుంది అండ్ పేస్ట్ ఇట్ హియర్ ఎంటర్ లాస్ట్ లో సింబుల్ వస్తుంది అని తీసేయండి ఎంటర్ ఫస్ట్ లో ఒకటి సింబుల్ వచ్చింది చూడండి నా ఓకే ఎంటర్ వాట్ ద మెసేజ్ ఇస్ ప్లీజ్ మేక్ షూర్ యూ హ్యావ్ ద కరెక్ట్ యాక్సెస్ రైట్స్ అండ్ రిపోజిటరీ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ So you don't have uh, access to this repository? We can access. I think one by one run. We have to run the command. I think maybe you can write. You can try that. Maybe I think is wrongly entered this. 
కాపీ పేస్ట్ చేసుకోండి ఒక నోట్ ప్యాడ్ లోకి ఒక నోట్ ప్యాడ్ ఓపెన్ చేసుకుంటే వెళ్ళిపోండి గోపి దీని కోసం ఉన్న దాన్ని మాడిఫై చేయకండి ఎప్పుడు కూడా మీరు లాస్ట్ లో కావాలంటే క్లాస్ అయిన తర్వాత మాడిఫై చేసుకోండి మొత్తాన్ని కాపీ చేసుకోండి నోట్ ప్యాడ్ లో పేస్ట్ చేయండి అక్కడ నుంచి పేస్ట్ చేసుకోండి మొత్తాన్ని క్లియర్ స్క్రీన్ చేయండి క్లియర్ స్క్రీన్ now can run other two commands as well you can check that you can check that pods file is updated in the k8s repository just refresh the page perfect perfect now you can go to code in the right side now you can go to in the right side code code <laughs> there and you can copy the url perfect no can listen carefully can you please go on mute i'm getting some noise background okay one minute i will close the phone okay go to notepad the next line you can write the next line you can write current mode line it's going empty it's good so cube ctl cube ctl it should be a small letter not a capital letters okay cube ctl space create space hyphen f space now can paste your github url which was whichever you copied you can paste here then followed by for slash after that for slash pods.yml now can copy this link entire line you can run from the cli Okay. Yeah. I'm able to read. In a command prompt or in a English basic? It's correct. 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 Uh, i think we need to troubleshoot uh, between your aws cli and uh, github so, bro, so this is some kind of connection breakage is there so that we will discuss tomorrow okay already time is 10:30 hmm? okay so there's a few commands we need to run after this so once you created this particular node app then we can start your application so that's it so but this troubleshooting is something different we need to troubleshoot that one
So better yeah. you can turn off your instance, sir. Huh? Yeah, stopping, I'm stopping. Ah, you can stop your instance. Thank you. So don't ever try that. So until next uh, class tomorrow, if you once completed, you can start practice it. Okay. okay. We'll okay. give you the clear cut notes. Huh? Already I prepared the notes. But uh, randomly we are uh, taking one information from the Internet and we are building the packages. So because of I want to get some errors to troubleshoot it. If I'm following my structure now, you don't get any kind of errors. So this is some structural uh, pattern is there. There is no error will be there. If when whenever you're working on real time environment, you'll get some lot of errors and we need to troubleshoot it. Every time I'm stopping one more, again one one more is creating, right? Uh, because of uh, it is Kubernetes cluster, right? So it's keep on creating it. Yeah, how can we start? Let's keep on stop creating. Up. We cannot stop that. <laughs> Every time I'm stopping, now next another is creating. Ah, uh, right. So can you please uh, go to EKS cluster? EKS cluster. Go to cluster. Compute. This is stopping now, then it is new is ready. Mm. Scroll up little bit. Can you please open that uh, currently there's a node is creating, right? Select that node. Scroll up. Scroll up, up, up. Don't have any stopping the services. <laughs> so mm. only you need to delete it. So you need to delete that option. No, stopping under the correct. Stop and under the. And delete is the cluster or delete both together? Cluster the delete open. The cluster will not delete. Only node will be deleted. Okay. Uh, node again. We had to create the node now. Ah, one. node again. You can have to create with the same configuration. At least one hour before you can create it. Okay. 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 Let me problem. Let them come to the end. I mean, charges. But in the children. The you can check the building. Not here. The right side is the billing, is there, right? Gopi Krishna. Gopi Krishna, right side. Right side. Oh, it's complete. Mm, $3 were charged. Elastic Kubernetes cluster is a $0.17 will be charged. Okay. So it is a paid one. Yesterday night I created. Mm. So definitely will be chargeable. It's not a free service. Okay. So that's why you can terminate that one uh, node. OK, next day you can create it. Okay. But again, deleting the cluster creation. So it's take more time again. Okay. Why why I am service you're going? Mm -hmm. I am laying later than day. E case locally, maybe get taken. E case locally, node locally, node need delete chess. That's it. Left side clusters. Left side cluster is there. Hmm. Open that. Go to compute. And open that. Ikada idiom of Nantin Niku compute services create Utundi. Ikad Miriam Chailer. One step back, Pina, left low. Left side low, Pina, Pina. Browser low, left side low, step on to Chund. Back step. Browser low, left side, Nam Preshian. Kin on Chund, node groups on Chund. Node groups. In node group, Nikon to remove it. Ikad edit an option on Tundi. Edit chain. Uh, edit option, scroll down, scroll down. 
node group configuration. Zero set chained. Zero. Zero is not there. One is zero is not there. Oh. So, going to option it. Cancel it. You can delete an option and delete it. Okay. Right side. Cluster nodes. Type cluster nodes. Hyphen nodes. Delete. So now it will not charge only elastic Kubernetes cluster. The charges will be applicable, but nodes level EC2 instance level charges will not applicable to you. Okay? okay, but right now almost one and a half hour we are practicing on the particular uh, T3 medium mission, right? Mm -hmm. The charges will be applicable tomorrow. You can check that bill. Okay. Yeah, thank you.